this might be one of the biggest things to happen to the ETF industry this year. The New York Stock Exchange uh, is exploring and it will likely be ditching machine trading in ETFs and <clears throat> begin trading on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, ETFs. Right now, the talk is commodity and bond ETFs only, not stocks, at least not yet. Uh, and there, we'll see what happens on that. There's certain rules that you need to understand about how this works. Reggie, you're the expert here. In fact, you are going to be going to GTS trading right back here and handling a lot of this new trading that That's might correct. be happening down here. Uh, explain to us how you're going to trade ETFs on the floor. Well, look, I think uh, investors are looking for different venues to trade ETFs. And for ETFs to come back to Florida New York Stock Exchange, you know, brings another level of innovation. One, a couple areas. One, fixed income, you said. If you look at what's happening in the fixed income area, ETFs are driving innovation through market structure changes because it's easier to trade uh, underlying bonds through uh, index and ETF format. But bringing ETFs to the floor under New York under their DMM system, uh, a designated market maker, can only enhance an investor experience. Well, well, what's it going to do for it? Will it make the spreads tighter? How, how is it going to help uh, people who are buying and selling ETFs? Well, so look, I, I think, look, look at it this way. Uh, the ETF community, 80% of all ETFs are below 100 million of AUM. And so you have a That's wonky- assets under management. Assets under AUM. management. So you have a wonky term called market structure by the, in, uh, by the insiders here. Uh, one market doesn't fit all types of companies. The largest ETF, SPY, trades much differently than the new YOLO, and you need a different system, I think, in order to incubate uh, liquidity and investor experience. And bringing smaller ETFs to the floor of New York makes sense in this case because you, you can invariably have uh, tighter spreads, you can have a different investor experience than you have in a resilient marketplace where you have really no dominant market center. It's just across the national market system. So it just makes sense in, but, in my case. But ETFs, Dave, they, they trade with pretty tight spreads. But with the plain vanilla guys, are, but there's hundreds of other smaller ones. Will this benefit from trading, trading there? Well, so look, I think liquidity is always good, right? So I think anything that brings more liquidity to the market is a good thing. All of the exchanges are doing anything they can to solve this problem that you're yeah. mentioning, which is these smaller ETFs really do need to work hard for that liquidity. Okay, I, I just want to point out, we're not going to be trading stock ETFs initially. And wh why is that? What's the, briefly explain the problem. Well, I think here on the floor of New York Stock Exchange, you have information uh, that's you know, fast moving and it's very difficult under current rules to incorporate uh, ETFs comprised of equity corporate uh, stocks inside the, uh, the floor of New York. Why? Line of sight. There's a rule called line of sight. You don't want to have an underlying security that's inside of a basket that can have a price movement that's not yet reflected in the current market. So you have inside information here. So the DMMs could, you, you, you could get a situation where you have a, a, an informational advantage, essentially. Right. Essentially. So, so, you, so right now you want to just make and, sure, now a lot of it is marketplace evented, right. but the rules haven't caught up to how and technology. And I, I gotta move on, but is there a way around this? I mean, will we eventually see I think so. Right now, right now, there's another floor right next door. You can list a, all ETFs you want, but right. that defeats purpose being on the main floor. Here. All right.